Hello, I'm Martina. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist here in British Columbia. Thanks for stopping by and visiting my channel. And as you can tell by the title of uh, this video, we're going to be diving into a subject that is, that is highly triggering for a lot of people lately. And maybe this isn't uh, something that's been a really big deal for you, but for some it's been really, really difficult. In this session, we're going to help you stop the need to argue your point and to release your anger about these situations. You cannot control what others believe and you can't force them to believe what you believe. And it doesn't matter which side of the COVID fence you're on, my words here today will help both sides. So I'm going to be tapping into your subconscious mind here today in this session so that we can rewire these anger patterns for this. So that a different message is sent to your conscious mind if these situations arise again. Now you already know that it's not in your best interest to hold on to anger. It can be both toxic to the mind and the body. It's also really important that you truly want to let go of this anger before you start this session today. This type of therapy is an effective way to deal with this type of anger um, on a day-to-day -day basis and to recognize that we can't control what other people say or do. Listening to this recording a few times will help you to create space within yourself that is less prone to anger. Okay, so if you want to jump straight into the session without hearing the rest of my preamble, um, I'll mark the minute mark on the screen and you can jump to it. But if you'd like to understand a little bit more about this, I'd like to talk to you for just a few more minutes and then we can jump straight into the session. You know, I have to keep reminding myself that fear presents itself in people in different ways. What makes us so sure that somebody who adamantly disagrees with our stance on these pandemic and volatile issues is deserving of personal insults, name calling, or even just to be informed differently and they sure don't spare feelings. The bullies can be cruel, relentless, and very personal. They won't be aware of a storm brewing sometimes either. Or a mob with pitchforks on your social media doorstep. It's been an eye-opening experience to witness this human behavior on such a, a large scale. But it's a relief to know that we're not responsible for anybody else's choices. And for some of us, it's been a real challenge to stay in our own power and not to defend or inform, hasn't it? And if you don't think that fear is poisonous, just read your news feeds. I've witnessed arrogance and vicious judgmental comments tossed about by friends and friends of friends, as I'm sure you have too. I never would have imagined people behaving in this way. Fear, don't we have enough of that by virtue of our human experience? And do you really want more? I keep seeing social media posts, commercials, about how this process of staying home is reminding us of what's important and bringing us closer, or even connecting us. And that if you aren't complying, you're selfish and you're hurting everyone around you. We've all heard that one. The former are lovely sentiments that have placed a romanticized spin on what is undoubtedly one of the most vivid examples of far-reaching division, bullying, and public infighting between family members and friends that I have witnessed to date in regards to the latter. So when you're reading a post or a thread like that, it really triggers rage in you because you really feel like they're being disrespectful and sort of emotionally and spiritually bypassing the very thing that is so very deeply painful and heart-wrenching for you to think about in this situation. So whatever it is, it matters, but yet it doesn't matter. And so what I mean by this 
it matters because it matters to you, but the details don't matter. Because whatever is triggering you actually lies in your subconscious mind. So what we need to understand is that there is something deeper going on inside of you. There's a part of you that is, in a weird way, resonating with that post, that argument, that thread, that is sort of making you more aware and right now coming up to the surface. So many people are feeling overwhelmed, angry, afraid, and hopeless already. Let's stop this senseless division. We're all in this together. I can only hope that somehow this becomes a portal to release what toxins are clearly being squeezed from us collectively. So here are a few examples of what I'm speaking of. Number one, overreactive shaming. They distort your argument, making it sound ridiculous in order to shame you into not making it. Number two, in their mind they're thinking, I don't have to consider your opinion because you're one of those. So they've put you in a category of people that they've decided are dismissible fools. Number three, insistence trumps reality. Pretending that debates are won by whoever's most insistent, not by reality, as though insisting the hardest that something is true makes it true. Number four, ignoring evidence and proud of it, also known as faith. Pretending that it's a virtue to think you know for certain what's true, that a blanket refusal to reconsider their position is a badge of honor. Proudly chanting, I agree with myself, as though it were a reason that you should agree with them. Number five, I'm right because I'm quoting somebody that wears a white lab coat, AKA, also known as lab coat cred. Number six, a lot of people agree with me, so I must be right, also known as throwing their supporters at you, pretending that popular opinion decides the truth, conveniently forgetting that they don't apply the same logic when lots of people disagree with them or are just plain wrong about something, as is often the case. Number seven, how about this one? Throwing their personal library of URLs that agree with them and insisting if you haven't studied them all, you're not qualified to argue with them. Number eight, and the ever so popular, kill the messenger. They treat factual evidence as a personal attack. So if you bring any to the table, you're being insulting. And nine, last but not least, I have a right to my own opinion, so shut up. Also known as the democracy fallacy. They pretend that the issue is freedom of speech, though only their freedom of speech not your freedom to disagree with them. Okay, so are you ready to begin to let go of changing these negative thoughts and anger patterns so that you can reduce the toxic effects that it has on your mind, on your body, and on your life? Great, so I'll be your guide for this experience. Find a place where you won't be disturbed for a while you can also do this before you go to sleep or just anywhere where you have plenty of time to spare. So sit up or lay down and you'll also have the best experience if you use headphones and never listen to this while you're driving. Let's begin.
I would like you to imagine now that you are standing in a beautiful redwood forest. Mighty redwood trees surrounding you. In the distance, you notice an old, old tree, giant compared to you. It has a large opening big enough for you to walk into. And you are drawn to this opening. It's so inviting. It seems to call to you. As you enter the mighty redwood, you are feeling relaxed, at ease. Begin to picture yourself descending the trunk, floating effortlessly down into the moist earth. Feel yourself moving through the tree's roots, down, down further, lower into the earth. Allow yourself to float through the bedrock, going lower and lower. Feeling more and more relaxed. Now imagine yourself reaching a stream. Taking off your shoes and outer clothing, you wade into the shallow stream. Water is warm. You decide to sit in the stream. Feeling the flowing water over your legs. So soothing so relaxing. You end up just lying back there in the stream. Let the water carry away any negativity you may be feeling, any anxiety, any fear. Just let go of all the negativity and see it washing away from your body. yourself to float down the stream easily, effortlessly, so soothing, so relaxing, leaving all your tension behind. And soon you come upon a beautiful lush garden. Step out of the stream and walk into the garden. Notice the magnificent colors in the flowers, the plants, and the butterflies. You may 
I hear birds chirping in the trees. Up ahead, you notice a small meadow. Go there. Find a large rock to sit against. As you rest there, notice the cool, crisp grass underneath you and the wind rustling through your hair. As you rest there, notice the sky is the most beautiful blue you've ever seen with a sprinkling of white, fluffy clouds just rolling by. And you are so deeply relaxed, enjoying the serenity of this special place, the tranquility and the peace. Feel the relaxation move gently through your body. The sunlight gently warming your face, relaxing you further as it moves down your neck and shoulders. through your back and chest. Feel the golden warmth penetrate your legs, your thighs, and then your calves. So warm, so soothing, so deeply relaxing. Feel the light move through your ankles and your feet and finally to your toes. completely loose and limp and totally relaxed. You have complete privacy and the temperature is perfect for you. You feel really, really comfortable. Just being where you are on this beautiful day. Now I'd like you to visualize in front of you a spiraling, shiny glass funnel standing up on its tip like a gleaming, shimmering sculpture where you can see through all parts of it. This funnel is sparkling and shining in the sun. It is so beautiful to look at. You see that there are 20 levels to the crystal funnel. A small silver ball 
at the very top of it is now ready to roll slowly down through the spiraling levels right down to the bottom. In a moment, the silver ball will be released. And we will be counting down through all the levels as you watch it descend. At every level, you will feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed. When the silver ball reaches the bottom, you'll be completely and totally relaxed. Please allow yourself now to imagine that shiny silver ball releasing, and I will count you down as we go. The ball has just been released at 20. The warm sun shining on you is making you feel so dreamy. 19. So comfortable now. And you're enjoying this wonderful relaxation. At 18, you find that you're allowing yourself to let go completely. 17. You give yourself permission that this is what you want to do. 16. You're drifting now while noticing the silver ball rolling down and around the levels. At 15, feel every bit of stress in your body start to drain out your toes. 16. With each number now, you feel twice as relaxed. At 13, drifting even further, following the silver ball down, spiraling. Twelve, you're letting go. Eleven, concentrate on the center of your mind. At ten, experiencing your inner self now. Nine, you're so comfortable, so open, while the silver ball keeps spiraling down. Eight, this is your time, your space. Drift and let go. Seven, feel the heaviness of your body and the lightness of your spirit. Six, Allow yourself to be there completely. Five. Feeling such peace. Four. You're completely safe. Three. Completely at ease as the silver ball is almost at the bottom. Two, you fall into a wonderful dreaming state. And one, the silver ball has spiraled to the very bottom and you're so very deeply relaxed now.
And now that you have just learned to relax, you'll begin to find ways to stop anxiety, anger, arguments, and relax more often. You'll teach your mind to stop those angry and anxious thoughts and focus. Focus on more productive and positive thoughts because this change is important to you. You'll notice in the days ahead that you're exercising control over your angry thoughts. And from time to time, when repetitive questioning and questioning yourself, your world, life situations, and your mind is racing negatively, you'll simply tell it to stop. And you'll tell it to stop because you want control over this, don't you? You're going to become a little more assertive with your mind by telling it to stop that. You're even going to say shut up if you have to. And you're going to notice that your subconscious mind is going to listen to you now because you're now aware that it's just a fear-induced anger reaction. And once you become aware of something, it's easy to put it into, into perspective, isn't it? Always remember that you have control. When you say stop, the anger stops. When you say, don't do that, it listens, it stops, it quiets itself. And then you slip in a true and positive future-oriented message. When the anger stops and you give yourself a break, you then give yourself a true and positive-oriented message. Then your mind focuses on the future, the future the way you would like it to occur. And when you get the positive future message, you stop there. Now let me repeat that. When the future image or message feels right to you, you stop there and focus. Breathe deeply and slowly. And then you move on to something you'd rather do or think about. You've reached at least a temporary resolution now, and you stop there. You've thought about it long enough, and now you relax the body. With it now, so deeply relaxed. Slow breaths. And you find that there are other more relaxing and positive ideas you'd rather focus on. I want you to know that you gave anger enough of your time, enough of your life. Now you'll simply change the channel of the mind, like changing the channel on a TV set moving forward to something more interesting and relaxing that you can focus on. Once the channel of the mind changes, you're done with your previous negative thoughts and you move on. You move on to the next thing, a positive thing. If any mind racing or anxiety or anger in the body happens again at any time in the future, you'll forcefully tell it to stop. Quit that channel and change the frequency of the mind to something else that's positive. And the body will respond. Because this is what you truly want, isn't it? The body and mind will respond with natural, easy relaxation.
And you have other things you'd rather do or think about in the future, don't you? Noticing that your focus is more positive from this day forward. You only allow a very short period of time for anxious thinking and reach at least a temporary resolution and move on with your thoughts, move on with your life. Because of this ability, you have a new lease on life. Positive messages about yourself and your world will enter into your mind more frequently during your waking hours and even in your dreams. There will be more positive outcomes and you'll sleep better, dream better. And isn't that a wonderful thing? Noticing that you'll release the things that you can't immediately change because you'll move your focus away from the things you have zero control over and instead focus on the things that you do have control over. Always remember that you now have control over your mind, any anxiety, any fear, any anger. You can stop all of those things and focus on more positive, productive things. Imagine you now have a higher self-image and higher self-esteem. You truly feel more positive about yourself and the world in which you live. And isn't that a wonderful feeling? You look at things with a greater amount of faith that everything has a reason and it'll all work out in the end. And because you feel a higher force at work in your life, Spiritually, this also facilitates the amount of faith you have. The higher forces will take care of things. And you begin to notice how things unfold on their own this way sometimes. And you also notice small ways in which the higher forces intervene in certain places and situations in this world. And so you release control over worldly cares to the higher forces. You make a difference in the areas you can and you release the rest because you want to feel more relaxed each and every day this way, don't you? Noticing you feel wonderful right now, self-empowered, with more self-control. Everything seems to work out more naturally during the course of life now from today onward. You're living more peacefully and naturally. You're relaxed now, more often, a much more relaxed person than you ever were before. I'd like you to always remember that if you're dealing with someone who will say anything to win an argument, you'll want to stop arguing with them immediately. This is to your mental health benefit. We can frame the challenge as a variation on the serenity prayer. Repeat this sentence in your mind right now after I say it. 
Grant me the patience to engage with the receptive and the impatience to avoid the absolutely unreceptive and the wisdom to know the difference. I'll repeat that. Grant me the patience to engage with the receptive and the impatience to avoid the absolutely unreceptive and the wisdom to know the difference. Very good. Engage the receptive. And you can stop repeating after me. So you really can't afford to waste effort talking to brick walls, can you? It's worse than wasting time. If you keep reasoning with the unreceptive, you're enabling them. Be understanding until they feel completely heard, if you like. It's your choice. But remember that you can understand someone without agreeing with them. Perhaps when they feel fully heard, they'll be willing to listen. And as you listen to my voice, you go into an even deeper relaxed state now because you want to reduce the arguments you get into and the anger that has taken a hold of your mind in regards to this global issue. And as you begin to relax even more, you'll find that changing your thoughts about the pandemic is much easier than you had ever imagined. All of the fears that you have about the virus and the future aftermath of it are put into a calm perspective now. And you've decided very wisely that angry thoughts Emotions and arguments about the coronavirus have zero control over you beginning today. And your subconscious mind also agrees. And so from now on, whenever you notice those angry thoughts about people being bullies on social media or even in person about the coronavirus, If this comes to mind, you'll simply say to yourself that being angry about any of it changes nothing. And when you notice that anger beginning about arguing virus or pandemic issues, you'll easily calm your body and your mind by simply taking three full breaths in through the nose and always out through the mouth. So this will help bring your emotions back under control and help to bring you to the present moment. And over the next weeks or months, you may see more online public panic and escalating arguments about how people should be dealing with the coronavirus. But you realize that sometimes Prior to today, you felt as if something very bad was going to happen in your world because of the virus and how it's been affecting the economy. Almost as if you had to do something, anything about it. But you didn't quite know what that was. You wanted control of the situation. What that old fear is is usually generated by 
a subconscious response to the misuse of the imagination. Basically, the very core of the mind is getting the message that something bad might happen due to the coronavirus. And this is partly due to the general panic of others and even a little to do with experiences from the past or maybe even a lack of an ability to tolerate uncertainty. But whatever the reason, the mind can learn to relax and take things as they come, one day at a time. And this is exactly what will happen for you from now on. Whenever you hear negative stories or see online arguments about the coronavirus or COVID-19 or have a heated conversation with somebody about it in person, you'll simply take those three full breaths and release any angry thoughts or feelings of panic or fear because this is truly what you want, isn't it? So from today forward, you stop playing judge. You stop assuming that if you find anything wrong with a challenger's arguments, that you're automatically right by default. There are always more than two possibilities. Remember, you stop engaging in winner-takes-all debates. Yes, they have a right to their opinions, just as you do. But there is zero need to argue your opinions anymore. You simply walk away or close your social media app if you even begin to get frustrated by other people with consistent unreceptivity. And it doesn't matter to you anymore if someone isn't willing in researching any evidence you've provided. Beginning today, you have zero interest in arguing with anyone because it's in your best interest. You'll be much happier and healthier to walk away or close Facebook or log out from that forum or wherever you are being challenged into arguments. Because you realize that people have to find their own truths. And now that you understand this, you find yourself becoming a much more calm, peaceful person every day. And isn't that a wonderful feeling? So because you'll feel so much more peace within yourself when you stop verbally attacking others, there is zero need to defend your position or opinions anymore. And that feels great. That negative old habit of being right stops permanently as of today. Letting all of this go is like a weight lifted off of your back. Let me repeat some of these wonderful ideas so your subconscious mind can truly absorb them. Now, this time, see yourself in full control. You have zero need to respond with anger in virus pandemic situations or differences of opinion anymore. You always respond with understanding and are calm.
You have zero need to retaliate ever in any situation. Because you can now allow people to be themselves and allow them their own opinions and priorities. You have zero urges to get angry because they don't agree with you. The only value someone else's opinion has is the value you give it. You have zero need to get angry because their opinion is different from yours. You're in control of your own emotions and reacting with anger is a waste of your precious energy. I want you to let go of the concept of winning arguments about this virus topic. You are now choosing to be a positive role model. You'll have zero need ever again to react with uncontrolled anger. Instead of becoming angry, you can now see their view. You may not agree, but that's okay. You now react with understanding and care and are always calm. You react with positive thoughts and emotions in your mind every single day of your life. Noticing that you are receptive and open-minded, aren't you? I'd like you now to let go of the concept of winning these types of arguments. You have zero control of other people's opinions, nor do you want to control them anymore. Isn't that right? You're doing great. So now I'd like you to please repeat each sentence silently to yourself after I say it. Every day, in every respect, I'm getting better and better. I love and approve of myself and I trust in the process of life. I am safe. More and more I can release the thoughts and feelings that disturb my inner sense of balance and peace. I can send them out with the breath in the interest of my own well-being. More and more, I can let go of worrying about things I cannot control and focus on my own inner peacefulness. More and more, I can sense the peaceful stillness at my center. Today I give myself permission to be greater than my fears.
I recognize my many strengths. I release my judgment. I am peace. I am serenity. I am peace. I am serenity. I let go of the need to win arguments. I'm now much less concerned about being right or proving the other is wrong. Very good. You can stop repeating after me now. And this is how this hypnosis session works so wonderfully. By enabling you to enter a calm and relaxed frame of mind, the subconscious mind can learn to reset its responses. You'll retain in your subconscious mind everything I've said to you, you now simply put these measures in place to manage and maintain your emotional health. And you want to do this so you can get back to enjoying your life. You have a strong faith and belief that by allowing all these wonderful suggestions to happen, it'll make you feel more confident and secure in yourself and your life. Knowing that nothing can make you lose that hope or faith. And I want you to know that you have the power to make these changes within your mind. It has always had the power to heal. This emotional healing is already available to you. And by being in a relaxed state, it's easier to learn how to use this power now more than ever. And you continue to feel the calm and tranquility of this emotional healing process spread throughout your body. And all of these suggestions that you've heard in this session are getting stronger and stronger with every breath you take, with every beat of your heart. And they're becoming your new thought patterns that you need for your incredible life. And now I'd like you to pay very close attention as I tell you that whatever happens during this year or even the next few years, that you are an impressively strong person with an unwavering view of yourself. You're a confident and happy person regardless of the current or future global circumstances. You're proud of who you are. And people love you for sharing yourself with the world. Others admire you for your strength. And whatever happens in the coming months or years, you are as solidly rooted as a giant ancient tree. Never will you fall or sway. You're totally resilient and in fact getting stronger more robust and more resilient every single day. And while you don't know what the future holds, you're sure that you'll be prepared for whatever arises. Because this is what you truly want, isn't it? And so you'll persevere through this global crisis because being a survivor is natural to you. And you'll really find this interesting. You now thrive on the uncertainty of the future. In fact, the more uncertain the future, the more confident and strong you feel. And that's because you now have the ability to remain totally calm at all times and to think very clearly, to heal yourself, 
and help others do the same. You'll notice how you'll always be able to remain calm under pressure. And because of this, you're able to calm others down who are angry or panicking. Remember that you are strong-minded, you're strong in body, and you're extremely resilient. Your daily attitude is very optimistic because you take everything in stride and you really believe that only positive things will happen to you. That everything happens for a reason. Even the outbreak of the virus will result in a completely surprising positive outcome in your mind. And when all is said and done, you know that you're a piece that fits into a wonderful puzzle and you're so happy to be a part of it. You know that your future and the world's future is full of many exciting and amazing moments just waiting to happen. Your hopefulness fills every room you enter and makes others around you feel hopeful, optimistic, energized, and renewed. And as you sit comfortably, you feel prepared, you feel strong, resilient, and you look forward to a more positive way of life starting today. And all of these suggestions, all of these ideas that you've just heard from me are growing strong in your mind, not because I said so, but because these are the suggestions, these are the ideas that you want in your life. And because I'm so very confident in your ability to deal with any emotions effectively during this crisis or any crisis, I'm going to bring this session to a close. And when you open your eyes next after the session, you'll feel a deep sense of calm, inner strength and resilience. You'll be clear-headed and you'll focus on wonderful solutions rather than problems and arguments. You'll be ready to activate every suggestion I've made to you today and your subconscious mind is ready and willing to take action. In a moment, I'm going to bring this session to a comfortable close. I'll count from one up to five, and when I get to five, you'll be fully aware, totally emerged, and will notice how wonderful you feel. But if you want to fall into a deep, wonderful sleep for the evening instead, just forget what I just said about becoming fully aware at the count of five and drift off now to sleep. Otherwise, one, slowly, calmly now, easily, you're beginning to return to full awareness. Two, each muscle and nerve in your body is loose and limp and very calm, and you feel wonderfully good with a positive attitude towards all people. Three, from head to toe, you're feeling perfect in every way, physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and serene, feeling ready to solve any problems that come your way. At four, your eyes begin to feel sparkling and clear, as if you've bathed them in a cool brook, feeling calm, rested, refreshed, invigorated, happy, and full of energy. Five, you're fully aware now, fully emerged. Open your eyes, please. Take a nice, deep breath and a big stretch and notice how wonderful you feel. Welcome back. Thank you for listening to this powerful hypnotic experience. Remember, the results will continue to develop long after this session has finished 
and each time you listen to my voice, the results will get progressively deeper. Now it's time to continue with your day, knowing that this crisis or any future crisis or any person that tries to argue and bully you has zero negative control over your mind, your emotions, your body, or your life. As always, it's been my pleasure to guide you. This is the end of the session.